Hi guys! So today I'm coming on with a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be trying out making a diaper cake for the first time and I thought that other people might be interested in seeing it and maybe even uh, making one of their own at some point for a baby shower. So I'm just going to start out with telling you guys what I got to use for it. Um, and I'm going to be winging it uh, since I've never made one before. So some of this stuff might not end up in the final product. Um, there might be stuff that ends up in it that I'm not showing you right now. But I'll obviously keep you updated as it goes along. But to start out with the base of the uh, diaper cake, I got these plastic cake boards. And these are like, uh, it comes in a pack of three and it was like, three dollars and 97 cents or something like that um these are actual cake boards um and they have like paper um cardboard ones and then they also had these plastic ones and i thought that the plastic would be a little bit better um and they look like this they kind of have lines in them and then if it'll focus Almost like cardboard does. I'm not really sure what this is, but you know where they put, it's kind of got air in it and like lines of structure holding like two pieces together like that. So I got this and then I also got this, which was just some 50 cent um, paint. And the colors for this baby shower are like a light purple and gray. So I'm going with like a light purple as my um, like focus color. Um, and then also elephants are the other uh, theme of the baby shower. So what I'm thinking is that I might paint this lilac. And since I got three of those cake boards and I don't really use cake boards, um, I'm thinking I'll go ahead and paint it lilac. And if it doesn't look good, then I just won't use it. But it might look better than just like a plain white one. Especially now that I'm seeing how the sides look once I got the package open. Um, I might put... Um, some ribbon trim because I got a couple different types of trim. So first one, which is the one that I could put around the edge of the cake board is this like skinnier one. And this one is um, three eighths inch by nine feet. So it's not super thick and it's like a glittery purple. And then I have another glittery purple and this one is pretty thick this is two and a half inches by nine feet and this one is like light purple with glitter in it and then it's a wired type of ribbon so the edges have wire in them which is nice you know for stability and then I got this one and a half inch one and this one is in like a nice lavender um, lilac y kind of color, and it's like a shinier kind. This one, I have no idea what it's made out of. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, it's 100% polyester. I don't know, they're different, they're made of different materials. So, this one is like a smooth and shiny, and then this other one is more like a tool type of texture with the glitter in it. And then this one is also more of like a tool texture with the glitter in it. And then the last one I got is um, 7 eighths of an inch and it's 18 feet. This one is darker because I made a Walmart order and I picked it up and they were out of the color that I actually ordered this in. Um, and they, <clears throat> they substituted it. But I actually think that this dark purple will look good. So these are the different colors of ribbon that I'm thinking of using. And if you've never seen a diaper cake before, they're um, layered like a real cake are. I'm sure, honestly, I'm sure everybody's seen a diaper cake before, but if you haven't, uh, it's layered in tiers like a wedding cake or something would be, um, except for that each tier is made up of rolled up diapers. Um, so I got some diapers. And then, um, and then people just decorate them. There's like a ton of different ways you can decorate them. I like googled um diaper cakes and like there is you can basically do anything you want so i got um some size two diapers because from what i was seeing and also i know in this personal like particular circumstance they're already set on newborn diapers um and also a lot of babies don't wear newborn diapers so 
you don't want to like overload the parents with newborn diapers. Um, so I was thinking size two will probably be like a size that they don't have a whole lot of. And also the, I don't know if the diapers itself is going to have this print on it, but the packaging for the size two diapers in this brand um, has koalas on it. And I know the parents are like getting a lot of koala themed stuff for their nursery. So I thought it was just like a little extra touch that's like personal to them. Um, if it has koalas on the diapers, like I said, I have no idea. I haven't opened it yet, but I'll be opening it here shortly. Um, so I got the diapers and then I got just a pack of rubber bands um, because you need to like roll up the diapers and rubber band each one. And then you put them all in a circle around a paper towel um, core. Or you can use, um, when I was looking it up online, I saw some people use like baby lotion bottles like the really big like Johnson's and Johnson's baby lotion um as their core I think you can really use whatever you want it's just to stabilize it and keep all the layers of the cake together but I have to ship this so I'm going to use a paper towel core because it's going to be a lot lighter so I just got a really cheap thing of paper towels because I actually don't have any right now and I'm just going to take the paper towels off and put them in the kitchen and we'll just use them not on the core but I'm going to take the core and I'm going to hot glue it to the middle of here I think I'll hot glue it this is plastic but you know even if it does like melt a little bit it'll dry and you're not gonna see it so I think hot gluing it'll be the best bet but I'm gonna hot glue it onto here without the paper towel part and then I'm gonna go around it and just do layers of those rolled up diapers on there and then I also got to go in with the rolled up diapers I saw that people use some other things besides diapers so I got this um, swaddle that has little elephants on it and it's like matches the gray part of the color scheme and then I also just got a pack of bibs and they match the gray part of the color scheme also and they're just like gray and white like this first one says loved the second one has a uh, koala or no yeah I think this is koalas and raccoons whoops Let me get it to focus. Oh my gosh. If I could, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. So I think this one's koalas and raccoons. Uh, grow with love. Little trees. And then all you need is me. Like embroidered on here. Um, so I thought that these would be cute. And I noticed that some people... Wow, that didn't focus how I thought it was going to. There we go. I noticed that some people will roll these up and put them in with the diapers just kind of scattered around. Um, and then also some people put like little extras on to like adorn the cake. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with those yet. I'm thinking roll them up and put them inside. Um, roll them up and put them in with the diapers kind of scattered throughout. But I'll know more once I get going with it about what I want to do exactly. And then I got this flower that matches the color scheme uh, to go on top to cover the um, paper towel core. So I'm just going to uh, hot glue this probably to the top of the paper towel core. And I think that this is going to match really nicely because like, for example, here's some of the colors. So I think that this will look really cute and it's like the same exact color pretty much as this paint. So that's my plan. Um, and I think that's everything. Oh, and I'm currently working on making an elephant, a little elephant to put on there. This thing is so tiny. It has been so hard on my hands because I'm using like a tiny hook and these are super tight stitches. So um, this thing, it like holds its shape really, really well even before I stuffed it. But I'm using, um, I don't know if you guys have seen that like acetate 101 yarn or whatever it's called at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm using that so it's like a shiny gray and then this is going to be such a little tiny elephant and I'm going to want to keep it for myself but I won't <laughs> and I thought that would be cute to kind of put on like part of one of the tiers I'm not you know 100% sure yet where um, and I've got most of the pieces made up for that I'm just working on the ears and then I need to put it all together oh and then I've got my hot glue gun heating up over here and that's as far as I can pull it because it's plugged in um so something cool that I saw at Walmart, they do um, these mini glue sticks in eight inch length. So I don't know if anyone else knew that I didn't like, here's my normal glue sticks 
And these are just those crafter square ones from the dollar store. But these ones are four inches. So these seem even longer than eight inches to me. But these are eight inch glue sticks. But they're still for the mini glue sticks, um, mini glue gun. So then you just don't have to change your stick as often. Um, and I ordered this as part of my Walmart pickup and they gave me one that was in like the clearance because it's missing glue sticks and it's like taped shut. I'm like, dang it, I wanted all 24. But um, they are crystal clear glue sticks. And I cannot tell what the brand is because of the way that they taped this. But either way, this is what the packaging looks like if you want to try to find them at Walmart. But yeah, all right. Well, I'll keep you guys updated as I go along through this and we'll see how it works out. For the first part, I'm going to paint this cake board and I'm just going to put the, the paint right in the middle of it because there's really no reason to uh, get like a paper plate or anything like that when I have this cake board that I can just put the paint right onto. Um, and I'm doing this first so that the paint can begin to dry and then I will start um, wrap or rolling up my diapers and putting um, rubber bands on them. Okay, so here are the diapers all rolled up. I did, had 42 in the pack. So um, they didn't have any sort of print. They have this yellow line that's just part of the diaper. Um, I don't know if any of you have had kids recently or if they used to do this before. I'm not sure how recent this was, but these turn blue when they're wet. So all diapers have them now. <laughs> Um, but this is all the diapers. Um, some of the, the waistbands had like the size and a little koala, but I didn't think that that looked good showing. So I put that part on the inside of the roll. Um, and so I got all of these rolled up and there's a lot. And my, um, thing, my cake stand is almost completely dry. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, paper towels off of that. And then I should be able to hot glue it on. All right, so for my next update, I have gotten the um, paint all dried on there, and then I went ahead and I hot glued this on. And what I did was I went around the um, circle part of this. I just went around it with hot glue, and then I pushed it on, and then I went around it with hot glue again just to make sure that it's, like, really stuck on there. And I'm letting that cool. I think it's honestly already cool. And I gave it a wiggle test already, and it's nice and sturdy. Um, and then I'm going to be going around with diapers and setting them up. Um, I don't want to put it on there yet just because I haven't double-checked to make sure it's fully dry. But I'm going to be going around um, to get about the circumference of this. And I'm going to be doing tiers. And then um, if you can get bigger rubber bands um, to go around the cake after you have them on there to hold them all into that circular shape you can do that um, but my Walmart when I made my order was out of uh, stock on the file sized rubber bands so I just got a pack of regular sized rubber bands which is these ones um, they're just like advantage rubber bands they, these are literally like a dollar and I'm just chaining some together um, so that I can go around the whole cake so here is my current progress update. Um, I've currently used about 25 diapers and I did two layers um, of diapers around the paper towel uh, tube for the bottom row and then I did one layer around for the second tier. And I'm currently thinking that I might do a third layer around. Unfortunately, that's going to cover up this cake um, board that I painted. And I like the way that it looks um, with it showing. But in order to be able to do a three-tier cake and be able to do one, one layer and it not be the same size as my second tier, um, I'm going to have to do that. So that's what I'm currently debating about. And here is the current uh, progress and what it looks like. Okay, so here is the current stage. I have finished putting all the diapers on. So I did go ahead and make the bottom layer uh, one more round and then did the middle layer one more round um, just so that I could do a third layer of diapers uh, that are rolled up. And then I went ahead and I added in the bibs 
Um, and I also added in this bigger one is actually a swaddle. And what I did is it's actually the height all the way down to the bottom of the cake. So I put it in and went, had it go down into the layer behind. Um, so you don't see the rest of it, but it actually goes all the way down um, to the bottom of the cake. So here's what I've got going on currently. So it's got the bibs and there's several different bibs um, kind of folded in or kind of rolled in throughout. And then now I'm going to uh, start with my start making my ribbon um, wraps. And then I was also originally thinking that I would put this on the top, but I'm actually thinking I might do something like that with it because that's like a very cake um, looking to me. Um, and then on the top, this is what it would look like. So it, I feel like it might, I don't know. I like it on the top too. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but this is the current stage. Okay. And here is my final update. Um, I finished my, my cat is trying to be part of the video. <laughs> um, I finished my elephant I did little purple eyes and a little purple bow. And I got the ribbons all put together and put on. So I went ahead and I did the like glittery tool kind of one with that has the um, metal in the edging um, as the base color. And then I did the like kind of silky um, lavender lilac-y sort of color uh, over it. And then in the middle... I also put the sparkly um, small strand in it to kind of make it different from the top and the bottom layers. And then I put that flower on there, kind of like, you know, they would do a flower on a real cake out of icing. And then I put my little elephant on top. So I think that that came out super cute. I'm very happy with it. And it's got the little swaddle in it and uh, some bibs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.